New at six, a passionate plea from a South Florida family nearly two months after a mother and daughter were murdered in North Lauderdale. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live at Broward Sheriff's Office headquarters where that family just spoke. Carrie. That's right. We learned some new information about the victims. First, the mother, Tamika Williams, we're told, was a dedicated, hardworking mother of five. And her daughter, 15 year old Jada Allen, was a smart, outgoing high school student with a bright future. Both of them were murdered inside their North Lauderdale home at the end of January. It's very traumatic. It's a horrific tragedy. Family members of Tamika Williams and her daughter Jada Allen spoke to reporters Thursday. The mother and daughter were targeted inside their North Lauderdale home in the early morning hours of January 28th. Someone shot them each multiple times and killed them. Investigators believe they were targeted. Please, I'm begging from the bottom of my heart. I'm, I'm not even sleeping. I'm six months pregnant. I, I can't get any rest. I'm driving myself crazy. But we do know that it's someone they know. Um, it's someone very close to them, someone just very close to us. So at that point, that leaves everybody a suspect. Family members say Tamika Williams left behind two adult children and two young children. Tamika's sister Nicole is caring for those two young kids. They're scared. That person is still out there. That person took my mom. And that's what we want. We want, at the end of the day, for that person to be behind bars, to be able to tell my niece and nephew that the person who did this to mommy can't do this to anyone else. And we are told that Tamika Williams was murdered just days before her son's fifth birthday. Now, the family and investigators believe that whoever did this likely has spoken about it to someone. If you have any information about this crime, contact Crime Stoppers 954 493 TIPS. The reward is up to $6,000 in this case. You do not have to give your name. Live at BSO, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.